Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we've got some big breaking news. Additionally, we have a few other things to talk about in regards to Supergirl Season 6. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so again, not much news coming out recently, but a bit more so than the last couple of months. Obviously, they're back on set, they're filming Supergirl. Supergirl's been filming for a while, and obviously we all know that Melissa is not going to be back on set till January. So for now, what we can suspect that they've been doing is they're shooting the scenes that they can, and then they'll go back and, you know, the first few weeks is going to be Melissa going back and adding into those scenes and, you know, kind of filling up the episodes. So, you know, Supergirl probably won't get that many episodes down until they break because they're going to have a pretty long break sometime in December and currently we're on the 18th of November. So, I reckon in the next couple of weeks you're going to see the Supergirl cast take a break and they're going to go away until Melissa comes back and they're going to come back sometime in the last few weeks of January. I reckon their break is going to be about five to six weeks long, possibly five because you have to account in in January. I think they'll all come back sometime at the start of January, but they will have to quarantine again, considering that most of the cast aren't from Canada. Obviously some people are and that'll be fine, but most of them are gonna go back away. And basically it's mainly gonna be accommodating for Melissa because she'll return after Christmas. Obviously they're not gonna come back to film during Christmas or New Year. So after New Year, They'll come back, Melissa will come back for the first time this year, and then she'll have two weeks, and then that's, you know, they're just accommodating for their main star, which makes complete sense, and then a few weeks later, after that two-week quarantine, then they'll start. So that's what's going on with Supergirl in terms of scheduling, also they're going to be filming all the way till August from January, so it's going to be a long shoot, even with this big break, they're going to be shooting for a long time after that. So the big piece of news today is that a random person who I've never heard of before, whose name is Nick, has been cast on the show and this was being spread around on Twitter, kind of crazy like, because, you know, this is a new character, we haven't had a casting in a long time, and actually I mentioned to you guys a while ago that I was kind of surprised that we hadn't had any casting announcements for a while, obviously I know that they were waiting you know, until they got closer to filming and they weren't so certain, so they didn't properly start casting. However, we have one of our first casting announcements and that Nick guy is going to be a new character that they're going to be adding to the show. We don't know if he is a main, a recurring character, or a guest star, but I'm sure some sort of new information is going to come out soon if he is a main star. There are lots of reasons to assume that potentially he is a guest star, but I think due to the announcement, he's probably going to be a recurring star. He's not going to be a main star because they would have announced it on all the trades. He wouldn't have got the green light to say, oh, I'm going to be in Supergirl. And, you know, he announces it on his Instagram that doesn't have that many followers. So, yeah, that's very interesting to know, and I think you need to keep that into consideration before we go around theorizing. Obviously, the Supergirl fans have found, you know, his Instagram account and they posted it and some people started following him. But in reality, he doesn't have a lot of followers. He doesn't have much to his resume as of right now. However, obviously, he is part of the show and we have to talk about this because this is essentially our first casting announcement. And if you check through his resume, he's literally been in two TV shows and one miniseries and one short film. So he is very experienced and I think from that you can add one and one together and you can see that he's probably going to be a recurring star or if not a guest star. So I would say, you know, he's probably most likely a guest star or a recurring star. Why? Because he announced it himself, obviously that makes sense and they wouldn't do that for a big actor who is going to be a major star and the major outlets have not reported this. So now, who could he be? What is going on here? So this Nick guy... He says, finally got the green light to share, really excited for this experience ahead, and he thanked a bunch of people that have been working with him, and in the comments he wasn't able to reply to anyone properly. I got a few comments that I thought was very cool, and so someone asked him a question, and he said, all I'll say is that Supergirl have an epic season planned, the keys to my role are completely in their hands. And so, pretty sure from this, considering that he talks about the whole season, 
I mean, I know he's probably not talking about the entirety of the 20 episodes. He knows the full story because I don't think anyone knows that right now, apart from the people who are behind the scenes actually working on the story. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be a recurring star from a few of his comments because he did reply to a lot of people saying, oh, I can't say who I am. And he didn't even reply to any of the questions regarding, are you going to be announced as a character? because I don't think he's going to be in any announcement because I don't think it's that much of a big deal that a random actor is going to play some character because that happens all the time and not everything needs to be reported on. So yeah, very interesting to know all of this and I think just due to the fact that he knows part of the season's story, I would say he is probably going to be a recurring star rather than a guest star because a guest star would be maybe a one or two shot appearance throughout the season and I don't think they're going to do that and I've mentioned recently that when they are casting or when they're bringing people in they have to quarantine for two weeks unless they're from Vancouver and then that's different then people can guest star however they have their bubble they probably won't want to break their bubble in terms of filming that's how they're running it up in Vancouver so it's very hard to get like Riverdale to cross over with actors from The Flash or actors from Supergirl but obviously there are exceptions that can be made and they'll make that for the crossover so unless he's actually living in Vancouver right now which I'm not a hundred percent sure we'll have to quarantine and so you know even if an actor is jumping between Vancouver and LA between pilot season and filming actual stuff most of the actors are probably gonna have to quarantine unless they're locals now let's move on from the technical side of things and move into some of the story theories that we could talk about so this is interesting and some of you guys have been commenting this on Twitter as to who do you think it will be. Someone noticed that, you know, a lot of his Instagram photos linked to fitness stuff and that had some of you guys relating to, oh, this could be a villain or some sort of hero because, you know, of his physique and the way he trains. So maybe I would say that's probably one of the best bets because even if he is a guest star, and a lot of the villains of the seasons are normally guest stars because they don't appear that much until, say, the last 10 episodes of the season or something like that, you know. So then they pop up every now and again. And if he is currently living in Vancouver and he doesn't have to hop back and forth between America and Canada, that's totally reasonable. Because as far as I remember, a lot of the villains in the past on the CW shows are just locals or people who are staying around the area and they will just pop in back and forth and they won't actually be recurring stars even though it seems like they're recurring but they are officially credited as guest stars and so even if he is recurring I think this idea due to his fitness stuff and due to his resume I think this is some good theorizing from you guys that he could possibly be a villain or a hero so what villain or hero could he be well, some of you guys have been mentioning that he could be a Legion of the Member of Superheroes because there was mentioned by Jesse Raff recently that there is going to be a Legion-like story. Obviously, that doesn't exclude Legion of Superheroes being involved in the story, so a Legionnaire could potentially be added to the show, which is definitely a possibility, and I like that idea. Also, there is a possibility that, you know, just being Legion-like means, oh, there's no Legion members, so maybe that goes against this current theory that we're talking about right here. However, people have been talking that this could be Cosmic Boy because the character we've been waiting for quite a while and we've been waiting to see other members of the Legion of Superheroes and I think with them saying Legion-like story, I think there is a high chance that this could happen because Cosmic Boy is a superhero from the 31st century and he is a founding member of the Legion of Superheroes and so I think it would be very cool if they somehow incorporated that into the final season, especially if they do plan to go down the way that people are suspecting that the show will end, that Supergirl will go to the future with the Legion of Superheroes and will be with Mono obviously in the future. So Cosmic Boy would be a good bet. I like that. So another theory from you guys is that potentially he could play a villain. And what villain could that be? Well, there was some leaks recently mentioning the Fatal Five. And it could obviously be an iteration of the Fatal Five because they mentioned a story to do with Superman. In that story, there is the Legion of Villains, but that could be replaced by the Fatal Five, which was mentioned in those leaks. Again, those leaks aren't 100%. They could be true. I would say it's pretty likely that they might plan something like the Fatal Five. So what happens if he is 
one of the villains of the season, maybe a member of the Fatal Five, I would say there is a strong chance that what he has been cast for is to be a villain or to be a recurring hero. I would say it's probably more along the lines of a villain, as far as I can tell. So that's my theories as of right now, and that is some of your theories that you've inputted over on Twitter. So that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Remember, there is going to be a live stream tomorrow night. That is Thursday night. So don't miss that. That's going to be sometime in the evening around, you know, between 7 to 9 p.m. UK time. So translate that to whatever time period you're from, and that is when the live stream is going to be. So... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.